Thank you. Can you tell me who it is that I'm speaking with this morning? Can you repeat that, please? I, I am the one. You are the one. Mm -hmm. This is a very important day. There are many souls here, united. Would you tell me the purpose that you brought Gary here in this beautiful gathering? Knowledge. His body. His body. His body is weak today. His body is weak today. Mm hmm. Can you energize it for him so that he can feel that energy and allow you to speak and let me know when you're done? Working. Thank you. Thank you very much. What kind of knowledge would you like to share with us this morning? that we all must work together. We all are planting seeds now. We all are planting seeds now. Each one of us. Each one of us. Must spread the knowledge. Must spread the knowledge. Of love and light. With love and light. Can you tell me what this moment is the that's great, coming? The Great Awakening. The Great Awakening. Is this awakening an energetic thing, spiritual or physical? It's an energetic. Mm -hmm. Where is this energy coming from? It's in all things. In this physical plane. All of us carry this energy. All of us carry this energy? Yes. Hmm. How do we carry this energy? To awaken to knowledge. To awaken to the knowledge? Hmm. Is this like a seed that we carry within us? Each one of us are a seed. Mm -hmm. We are all seeds. It's planted here. 
planted here. For this time. Mm. Who planted these seeds here? The one. The one. For what purpose? To create. To create. What are we creating? The one seeks companions. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Each one of us are experiments. Each one of us are experiments. The evolution of humanity. Of humanity? Yes. Mm -hmm. The awakening is upon us all. Yes. Is it happening now? Yes, we're mm -hmm. on the verge. We're on the verge. Awakening. How long will this ab awakening take? It's happening now. Hmm. Each one of the potentials, our each one of our experiments, are at the evolution of humanity. Mm -hmm. Yes. This. This place is known. Most here are walking blind. This planet yes. where we are, most yes. are walking blind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me what that means by walking blind? Most have forgotten their potential. Most have forgotten their potential. Most are not connected to source. Mm. Most walk around in a state of being unaware. How did we lose our connection to Source? Willingly. <laughs> what is it? Willingly. Willingly. Why did we forget? Fear. 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 Most, most of humanity are concerned with fear. Mm. Now, when we're born onto this planet, do we bring fear with us? No. So how does fear manifest? It's taught. It's taught? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that when we lose our connection? Slowly. Mm -hmm. Each each one of us are different. Mm. Oh, this body. Would you continue filling it with energy so that he can remain calm and allow your voice to be expressed? And I'd like for you to also fill the room with this connection to Source. 
so that all can experience the same energy. There's a gathering taking place. There's a gathering taking place. Tell me about this gathering. It's... It's been known. There was another longer count. Can you repeat that, please? There's a longer count. Longer. A longer? Longer clock. A longer clock? Mm -hmm. It's known. Like, like the changing of the seasons. Mm -hmm. But much longer. What does this clock represent? The evolution of humanity. The evolution of humanity. This evolution was meant to have happened much sooner. What happened? to keep us from evolving sooner. Uh, that's like all things. It's a trial and error process. Mm. And this process weaves in and out of multiple possibilities. Mm -hmm. This possible, this, Time they weave lines. through timelines, okay. Yes. What timeline are we on now? The one we've all chosen. All that have chosen. This moment. This timeline. We all can choose. All of us have All of us, all of us have chosen this timeline. Yes, we we can only bear each each entity can only bear so much. Mm -hmm. What is happening on this timeline right now? It's it's evolving very quickly. It's evolving quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. The potentials, all of us are woven together mm -hmm. with one potential in mind. What is that one potential? Birth a new human being. To birth a new human being. Would you tell me more about this new human being? Oh, all of this new humanity will be together. All of this new humanity will be together. Nothing will be in. All of us will be connected. We will all be connected. Mm -hmm. Nothing will be in. So I'll be there for each one to see, to experience. Fear will fall to the wayside. Every individual soul will be in the open, mingling together with each other's soul. Every cell on the physical will be working in unison. This is what mankind, humans, have forgotten. It's not that difficult, actually, to manifest, to create, to 
communicate with all things. The ability has been willingly suppressed. This call. This place. It's full of addictions. What kind of addictions? Infinite. <laughs> Infinite addictions. How do we strip away these fears? Communicating with the one. Communicating with the one. The source. Mm -hmm. There are so many evolutions of yourself. There are an infinite number of of oneself all side by side. Can you explain this concept of having so many of us? sharing 
with the one, our creator, because we all seek to evolve, to create knowledge. Knowledge is in itself just energy, <sighs> vibrational energy that's all shared for all of us <sighs> to experience. Now you spoke about the spark. Are each of us individually, are we sparks? Yes, we S are all the same. Spark. So, so when we, when you say that we have split ourselves off into others, are we different people? Are we yes. trees? Are we rocks? Are we experiencing different things as ourselves? We're all free to experience any potential. Mm. Is it possible for us to be meeting ourselves in other bodies? Yes. For example, in a group as we are now. Are these different aspects of ourselves? Each, each one of us are doing this subconsciously, always. So can we focus? Uh huh. Can we focus on Gary for a moment, and let's find out what different things he is going through, so that we can expand that out. Would you be willing to focus on him for a moment? Of course. Thank you. Many, 
many entities, many races of beings are all focused on this awakening. There's much thought that's being put into humanity. So what is, what is Gary's role in this? Gary agreed to forget himself for a time to learn the ways of connecting to humanity in this time. to communicate in the ways of humanity now. Gary has agreed This awakening Gary's been given a message, a gift. It's soon. This gift and others. Every single potential here on this plane of existence has the potential to tap into the one, the source. How do we tap into the source? Surrendering. Letting go of the weights of your fears. They're all weighing each one of us down. Gary also has collected these weights, these layers much like an onion that wrapped around. There is only one way to be as the one. It's to unravel all of these layers of fear. Surrender and recognize all of your fears to face each one. The only way to do this is to connect to Source, to tap. 
tap into the energies of the divine. Gary, this time, unlike any other potential here, he's just one mm -hmm. that has been collected. He's been he's been tapped to serve. He's willingly agreed. There are many, many others that have gathered here, that are here now amongst humanity. <sighs> Tapping into their divine spark. <sighs> Every single potential here has this within them to evolve, to let go of their fears and to connect to Source. It's a process. It's in some, in some, oh, they are not an easy. It's a difficult process. They, they feel the energy, but they willingly suppress. Oh, this, this body is beginning to surrender. He is not a willing participant like many of you. This place is a difficult experience. Most of us are seeking to be loved. And many of us experience so many it's painful. It's it's a difficult experience to be a human being, each entity that agrees to incarnate here. They do this because this place is considered all who, who survive this experience that graduate from this this place are considered very they are all warriors it's a, considered a great experience. How do we graduate from this? Most who come here become lost. Mm -hmm. It's place to graduate from. Mm -hmm. Do some give up? Oh. Flunk out? Yes, many. Mm -hmm. Many need to be found again. Many are lost. Many, when they pass over to the other side, recreate the same physical 
addiction, they become wrapped around these physical addictions and it's so easy to recreate these addictions on the other side. Hmm. Are they manifesting the same while they're in spirit? Yes, they do. It's becoming easier now to communicate. Oh, Gary, oh, he's very clenched. Oh, it's not an easy thing to let go of and to let to let his highest, most evolved self. So how do you do that with someone like Gary and many of us that like to be in control? How do you get through? It's a long, long process. Most that come here, they're chosen. We work on them from their earliest childhood. We come to them at night when their consciousness is at rest and we work with them, we heal them, we slowly, we, we give them experience, but many, but many all pray to the ways of, of this, this dimension, this, there are so many that are working against the divine. Who are these that are working against the divine? Aren't we all sparks of the divine? Yes, but just in all things. Just as the other is night and day, there are opposites. There are those that work. They become addicted. Fear. They become addicted to controlling others on, on the physical plane. It's here. There are those that become addicted to another energy, a darker energy. Mm -hmm. They become addicted to controlling humans mm. <laughs> for their own purposes, mm -hmm. controlling humanity. <sighs> now, there are many people who may think that Source would be able to control this. Why would Source, the Creator, not stop this darkness, this fear? Source has a sense of humor. <laughs> Source, the one, it needs dark energy. Dark energy is misunderstood. It's can, misunderstood. You, can you enlighten me on this? What does that mean?
they enjoy the feeling. Hmm. <laughs> they they forget on the physical plane. It's so easy to become part of <laughs> this just walking blind as many of us laugh at this is known as the walking the the, <laughs> the land of the blind many here are perfectly willing to forget did they choose to forget yes yes for what purpose for themselves Hmm. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, it would if, if you were in their shoes. Mm. Many forget for centuries. The experience here is pleasurable. Just now, many here in this room are addicted to love, they're addicted to fear. Some are wrapped around the securities of fear and being alone. They, they like the feeling of <laughs> guilt, hmm. of of being noticed for being fearful. It's odd, I know, but this is what they do. There are so many different types of fear. How can you release this fear? Is there like a magic pill to be able to release yourself of this? Yes, there are. <laughs> It's not difficult. Can you give me a few ways to release this fear, being that Gary has chosen to be the one to help others? Love. Surrender to love. It sounds simple. Mm -hmm. Opening your heart, exposing yourself, embracing your, your companions here, exposing all of your weaknesses, all of your fears, your greatest fears, face them. It's the most difficult part of the process. But once you face your fears, it could be a simple fear at first. Maybe your fear of fights. Gary has many fears of, of this nature, heights. Once you face your fear, even your smallest fears, once you let them come into you, you realize it's just a figment of your imagination, of your own creation, and then you will control this fear, it will not control you. It's the same with all of your fears. The one fear that blinds most of humanity, that suppresses all of humanity, is the fear of love greatest energy that each one of us 
has that we all seek to be noticed, to be loved. We all willingly walk away from. Why does it hurt so much to love? Betrayal. This age that we are letting go of now it is the lessons of betrayal. The lessons. These instincts that come from the divine can awaken you. Each person in this room now has the ability to awaken. You have the potential, the power commune with yourself, for your highest self is you. You need only surrender all of your fears to do this. Once you begin to let go, What you hide. Many people here are hiding themselves daily. So many, so many aspects of their being. They may. They may prefer their sexual preference. There are so many things we hide away of our true selves. This place, it is consumed with fear. It is rampant. It, it, it is like a virus. It invades into the core every single cell in this place called Earth. It was never meant to evolve this way. What happened to hijack that? Many, many eons ago, the one created 
this place. Earth. Earth. Mm -hmm. It was an experiment. Every creation is an experiment in the evolution of the divine spark. We are all an experiment. And as all experiments go, it evolves, it develops its own way, it, be it becomes a living, breathing entity of its self, Earth. Humanity. Evolved into this. When Earth first was developed as this experiment, was it going well? those souls awakened at that time? It has always gone well. There are no mistakes. Just as now, there is, there is free will. Eons ago, it was decided that the energy here would be allowed to move forward. This, this particular earth, it's a living, breathing entity, just as each one of the people in this room are. We all seek to grow and to become more than we are now. There are so many levels of beings, of consciousness, of energy. The experiment of this place was to see how far away from the divine that this spark could survive and still thrive and grow. Each, each one of these sparks have the same potential as any other. Influences nudging humanity, guiding them. Humanity is connected to so many other potentials. There are beings here now. stay. 
stage of awareness and their survival is dependent upon the evolution of all of you in this place now just as there is another race of beings that are here nudging each one of us to evolve. It is not a given that humanity will evolve. What about the Earth? Will it evolve but without us? The Earth has evolved already. Mm. There is a longer calendar, a longer clock that's ticking. The Earth has evolved already mm. and it will again. The question is Can humanity can it find its way out of the dark? And find this earth where we are now. will always be. But you were meant to evolve, all of you. And the only way to find this new earth is to find yourself. If you cannot connect back to the divine source where you were meant to always be. You will miss, you will miss this birthing, this event. This opportunity is a rare experience in what you call the universe. It does not it does not manifest. But, as is the case with most of humanity, they procrastinate and wait till the very last opportunity. There will be a moment in your evolution of consciousness where you will be given an opportunity to evolve. It will be made plain, it will be clear. You must listen to this message. This is why you were brought here today. This opportunity will not come again. For many, many of your earth years, not until 
the age of Aquarius has passed. Many of you will ignore this message. You will not cease to exist. You will just continue on here in this place as you have been, just as it happened at the last moment of opportunity. We all have a choice. And you will be nudged again, as before, to evolve or not. This moment that is coming, many will be afraid you will be afraid but you must surrender this feeling of fear and you must look into yourself and stand in the face of fear and connect to source. Meditation now, daily. Connect with the energy. You all have felt this energy before. You must find it now. You must learn to find this energy now. Do not wait. You must seek it. You know this energy. You can feel it in your spine. What of those who are listening to this who cannot meditate traditionally, what is the best way to connect with Source? All of humanity connects with Source every day. They just do not realize it. At night, when you sleep, you're connected. In the morning, when you first awaken, it's there. When you make love, it's there. The moment of releasing during orgasm, it's there. You must learn to find this energy during your waking hours, to commune with it. Because at this moment that we are speeding towards when the veils are lifted you will be given the opportunity to surrender to Source Can you give me an example of what it would feel like when the veil is lifted? What would someone experience? (sighs) 
when the veil is lifted, all of you will have the power to manifest anything, to go anywhere in an instant. Most of you will fall into your unfulfilled expectations from the physical. Most of you will be recreating, manifesting Communication is better now. Gary. This body is very clenched and tight. When the veil is lifted, you will manifest What you've always dreamed of, what you seek daily. Most here are wrapped around fear. Most human beings seek to be noticed, seek to be loved, seek to be safe from the sensation of judgment, judgment lives and rules the day in your world. When you dream at night, you create. Each one of you manifests. This is what you will do when the veil is lifted. So are we practicing at night? Most, no. Most of you, most of you are like children. Very few in this reality Recall how to communicate, how to connect. Most of you are walking blind. When the veil is lifted, you will have the power to commune with the dead. They will be before you, many lost souls, fearful who have created their own universe around them. They did not transition. And you will be frightened. And your first inclination will be to wrap yourself in fear for some the sense of security will be their home 
and you will recreate your home. It may be your bed. It may be Jesus. You will have the ability to manifest anything. Many will be suicidal to this new ability to manifest. That is why now you should be developing your potential. connect and commune with the divine. When the veil is lifted, many human beings will be shouting. They will all wait until the last possible moment and they will be praying in unison. And at that moment, they will find themselves. So there is hope. Humanity is on the brink. There is another world that depends on you now. Just as there is a group of beings that are nudging us forward to evolve, humanity can fall. It is not a given. Humanity is meant to evolve. What does this new earth look like? Love rules the day. Where is fear? Fear rules this earth. Mm -hmm. You, if you are able, if you can make this jump, you can find a way to evolve. <sighs> this earth is there now. It has happened. And it will happen again. I can tell you, this new earth, humanity 
lives so much differently. Your energy comes from the sun and the divine spark, the one. You will not be consuming food the way you do now. Life will be much simpler and communication will be instantaneous. What will we look like? Well, we have a physical body on this new earth. Yes. Yes. Imagine. Imagine a healthy, a healthy space. Our bodies, our bodies were created just to house our souls. Imagine a, an intelligent machine. A healthy machine. That's not... Uh, this place here that we are filling this space, humanity, oh, it's such an interesting experiment. The bodies here are all sick, they're all polluted with chemicals. But, as you can see, they still thrive. They still have the potential to connect to source. It's, it's very sophisticated and ingenious invention. But in this new earth, Everything is known. Even the plants, the animals, matter, all the cells, the life force that makes up everything is known. Communication is instantaneous. There is no where to hide your true nature, your true feelings. It is a place to strive for. It is there, it's now, it's happened. There are an infinite number of potentials. Though, the earth, where you are now, this dimension, this timeline. Yes, it is evolving daily. Each of us, our thoughts, our collective thoughts are creating this space that we are in now. It's evolving daily. Many of you are aware, you can feel it. But 
you are still blind to what you need to know to survive this moment that we are racing to. You must learn to communicate. You must learn to clear the clutter from your heads. <sighs> because this new earth that you were here for, that you were seeking, <sighs> that you've made this trip to be here, the amount of energy that you've put forth to learn, you now are being given. What I am here to tell you, you must prepare. You must learn to commune with your higher self. You have done this. You have. But this potential that you are locked into now has not. Try to imagine an infinite number of yourselves. You have created many potentials of yourselves. When you have decided to come to this place, to incarnate, to learn. You do not just come to this particular experience where you are now. It's such a limiting way of thinking. If you really wanted to know what it's like to be a human being, would you limit yourself to just living in this particular time and space as you are now, only speaking one language, only learning to live as one type of human being? Rather, would you not want to experience the multitude of races, the multitude of experiences, multitudes of emotions? This is what you have created. You need to find source. And the only way to do this, to achieve the union, is to find this energy that is in each one of you. This moment, it's real. It is real. It will not wait for you. Many will miss it. What happens when we miss this event? You will not miss the event. It is whether or not you can find this new earth as you choose to call it. What happens? You will stay here and pick up the pieces as you have done in the past. This world now around you is collapsing. Earth will attempt to swipe you away. It will get it will not be a very habitable environment. 
Can you be more specific by what you mean by swipe away? Because Earth, our mother, is alive. She is you. She is a living being. Would your body not do the same if you had a, a virus inside that was affecting the function <laughs> that influenced your potential to evolve and mm. grow, you would look for a cure. <laughs> you, you would want to eradicate this, this intrusion. Earth is doing this now. It's beginning. just as humanity is beginning to work against it. The light and the dark. Oh, this body. Oh. This body is treating me as an intrusion, an, an unwilling participant now. Mm. I am here to persuade you because I am you and you are me. We are one and the same. And my gift to you now, here in this space, is to tell you that this moment is near. You can feel it. Everyone senses it. It's a choice that we're all making. Well, everyone is asking, when is this going to happen? Can we pinpoint? The best way that I can communicate this to you, so that you will understand, Man is creating this moment. You. It's been described as a thief in the night. Your own words. A thief in the night. In the night. Yes. Mm -hmm. Think of it as an approaching storm. A thunderstorm. It's difficult to pinpoint the beginning and the end of the storm. Think of a typhoon that's approaching. Even though It seems as though the sun is out, that there is a calm before the storm. The wind begins to rise, and you still tell yourself, oh, this is just the wind. I'm not afraid of the wind. Oh, and now there is rain. Oh, lightning. 
I, I'm comfortable with lightning. And then, oh, hail. Yes, I, I'm familiar with hail. All these things, it's just a storm. Oh, oh, the ground is, it's, it's rumbling. I've experienced this before. I'm not afraid. Oh, oh, the sky, it, it appears different. Oh, I'm not afraid of this. Oh, and, and there's a war. It's a different kind of a war. Oh, there are wars every day. I'm not afraid of this. This is happening now. And what will drive this moment that we are all racing towards will be the moment of your greatest fears. Because that is how you have manifested it to be. The moment of your most uh, the most frightening experience that you can imagine is what will nudge you into diving deep within yourself. That's when you know it's time to evolve or not. This time, it's here, now. When you speak of these fears that we need to face, will they be the same for everyone? Or will the fears be individual? Of course, every one in this room now has a different idea of what their God is, of what their hell is. This this being, Gary, his fears, it's unique to his own creation. He will be as you are. All of you, one and the same. You must square the circle. What does that mean, square the circle? You must make the impossible possible. We cannot do this for you. It has always been this way, and it will continue to be this way. You must find a way to evolve. Thank you. Do you have a message first for those that are in the room today? Love. Surrender to love. It sounds easy to do. But for some reason, everyone in this room is afraid to bear their love. Was this group 
brought together for a particular reason. sensing the motivations of each and every individual in this room. Hmm. Such, such a wide, oh, and so many, so many varied reasons, so many varied fears, one thing is common. Love. They all seek the same, to be loved. Unjudged. They seek commandments. <laughs> they sense there is a better way. They are all seekers, just as it has always been intended to be. Naturally, each one of us are intended to evolve. The worst sin that you can commit as a human being is to stagnate, is to deny your potential to deny the divine spark that is within each and every one of you, that is within each and every thing around us. All things are connected. You have the potential within you now to commune with this spark. This is my message. Do not ignore what you sense around you, that this place is collapsing. The system that is in place will be wiped away. It will not continue. All of you now, are in a boiling pot of water. Whereas before it was lukewarm and temperate, you enjoyed the sensation of it, but now it has been eating up. The temperature has been rising and because you're in this water, you do not sense it. If I were to take your hand now and put it into this water before you having yet touched it, the difference between when you first, where you first stepped into this water and the temperature as it is now, you would think, how can I be in this water? Why am I still in this water? A madman, someone that is blind to what is happening around them, could be the only explanation for why you continue to stay in this boiling water. My message to you is prepare. Learn to meditate. Meditate daily. Cl 
clear your mind and imagine your breath. Imagine your breath rising to source. Feel the tingling and your core. Feel the energy. Imagine that energy spreading throughout your body. Do not let those thoughts that weaken your vibration encroach within you. Do this daily. Learn to manifest imagery within your mind's eye. That is the key. And when this moment is upon you, then you will recognize this moment. Because the fear that will invade your being be the most fear you have ever experienced. Face it. Stand up to this fear. Your first intention cannot be to hide. Remember this. Do not turn your back on the moment. Face the fear to hide and meditate in this new space that you will experience. Call to source. It's your source. If you turn your back, you will have made the decision to stay. You will survive the moment still. Yes, you will. But if your intention, your path, if your will for a new earth, my message to you is to stand fast and not let the cancer of fear, it's a virus. Remove this from your being. Thank you. Is there anything that you would like to tell Gary now? He has many questions about those that he sees, a female spirit that he sees. Who is this? And what are they trying to tell him? being this entity uh, 
this is Gary's teacher. She, her, uh, this, this, uh, this body, it, it fights me. <laughs> oh, blast this body. Mm. Magda. That is her name. She prefers to be known as Magda. Mm. No more nicknames. <coughs> Does Magda have a message for Gary today? <sighs> Gary is... relationship is strong between Magda and Gary and back to only will reveal herself in Gary's space Gary fights Daily. <laughs> Gary's fear is is being seen as who as he really is. It is a burden that he creates on his own. This being is who recruited this vessel for Gary. is a very evolved being. Magda serves many. Many beings. Besides Gary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gary's just one of many. This is the time of the gathering. This, this moment that we have been discussing has been anticipated. Many people, many humans are aware of this now. Many beings throughout the universe are here gathering now just for this moment. The moment of creation is the most highly anticipated and sought after moment. The birthing of a new species, a new humanity. There are many rooting for our, our success. Just as there are many that would be 
be just as pleased for our failure mm. in all things it is this way the struggle just as humans are born they struggle from the womb life is a struggle it will be a struggle you will discover on the other side of the veil will it be a different type of struggle oh yes this is important to know the laws of existence in other dimensions are much different than the physical laws of existence. You will fear. The trick is learning to suppress it to control your fears. The senses that you possess now are your security blankets. They make you safe. This new age that is upon us it will spill out all that is familiar. All of them will be removed. These new gifts of manifestation, these new senses, You will be just as you are now. You are children now, even more so. When the veil is lifted, these new powers that I speak of to you you will not have any inclination on how to use them. The simplest notion that will come into your feeble, <laughs> childlike existence. Your your being as you will sense it at this moment. Any thought will take over all of your being. You will have no experience on how to manipulate that thought, how to manifest it into something wonderful your initial reactions will be fear and you <sighs> you will be lost everything in this arena this new dimension all of what you can do there is new it will be foreign to you imagine never knowing what the ocean is in this place never having seen or heard of what the ocean is and then 
instantly being dropped into this ocean for the first time, having to learn how to swim with the fish and how to communicate with the fish for the first time, much like a baby when it's first born into this physical existence. It takes practice to learn to crawl, to walk, to use your eyes, that you can smell. What are these smells? What is this I smell? Hmm. It would be the same there, except these five senses that you have labeled here. You will have new senses. This veil will change you. You must know this veil, when it is lifted, it will only be for a short time. It will fall again. And where you are residing will dictate what your experience will be for those that could connect to the, the divine source and find a way to evolve with the new earth, as you call it, will be uniquely and completely different than those that remain here. Your senses will be different. You will have tasted, experienced what it's like to inhabit the other side of the veil. You will remember. You should know that you can use the gift that you were bestowed and maintain this connection to Source. You can remember the experience of having the ability to manifest for this short time What happens to those families that some cannot face the fears and other family members that are connected to Source? Many are afraid that they will be separated. Most will be separated. Most will be lost for a time. Many will, hmm, this body. Many will commit suicide. The fear will permeate their being and they will look for a solution. They will seek the comfort of the physical, they will beg their God as they know it for mercy. They will pray as never before, all in unison. It's a foolish thought, isn't it? <sighs> For all they need to do is pray to themselves because they are the truth. 
true gods that they seek. This has happened before and it has always been this way. Many will manifest another world around themselves and they will stay there until there are many beings that seek to help. They collect all of these lost souls they find them and bring them back to source. Though many deny the help, it seems ridiculous, I know, but it is true. Many people, when they pass to the other side upon their death from the physical, they are so addicted to this place. They have so many unfinished, unresolved expectations that they do the same. Could be a home that they spent their entire life creating and they will not leave this home. could be someone that they cannot sever a relationship with and they will create this again. This too will happen when the veil is dropped. sense of well-being, of home. This is what most, this is what most of us here in this place seek more than any other. And this is what they will create when the veil is lifted. Do you have a final message for the world? I would think the message that I have given is enough. Yes. You must find a way to evolve through love and reconnecting to the one home. It is within each and every one of you in this place, in this time, to evolve. This is what you are here for. You are a receptor. You, you are here as a representative to experience, to learn. You are a manifestation of the one. All things that you experience here, you experience through him. He is within you, within all of us, within everything around us. Each 
one of us are now at this very moment with him there is another one of you standing with him now you just are blind all of you are walking blind you can wake up now you can each one of you have this power to stand up and awaken and reach your full potential that is why you are here you made the decision to experience this place and all of its beauty, all of its sorrow, its joys, its terror. All of these are valued experiences. All beings arise from this place that have experienced it completely. They are held in high regard. It is not an easy thing to do. Eventually, you will find your way. But you were meant to have made this step in evolution sooner. Are we complete? Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. My arm really hurts. <laughs> what hurts? My arm. Your arm. Oh, it hurts bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'll take them. Can you take the mic off? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Allow the sensation to come back into you. This one or the other one? It's this one. Okay. Oh. Feel the sensation coming back. Oh. So bad. Mm hmm. So what was your experience? Oh, this is totally effed up, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me. You're back again. Oh. Let's put that microphone on so they can, you can share that experience. So how is this one different than the other one? Oh, man, there's a bunch of people over there. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> No lights. Oh, man. I don't want to look. There's a bunch of they're there. They were all with you. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> what did you experience? Oh. Oh. Oh, 
that's not a happy feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's time to share. <sighs> oh, my. My arm feels just, oh. It felt like it was, like, locked. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't move it. Mm -hmm. Like it was stiff. Really stiff. Oh. Were you seeing anything this time? Yeah, yeah, I saw some stuff. Oh, oh, he, I you didn't, know. I didn't want to go under. And he grabbed a hold of my arm, just like, held me. Can and wouldn't you hear let him? Go. No. no, put it back on. <sighs> okay. You're the messenger. <laughs> oh, this totally sucks. There. Okay. Okay. Share. <laughs> Share. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? Um, it, 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 this, oh man, I can, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. It, it's just, it just feels so personal. I'm not good at, at sharing being in a, a vulnerable state. It's kind of like uh, being naked. It's like uh, waking up in a dream and you don't have any clothes on. That's what it feels like. That's what we were told that it's going to be like. Oh. That we have to face that fear. I didn't really want to go under and, and he was, he grabbed my arm and kind of like took a hold. And His higher self? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just said, his, he found a way to, to get me to focus and uh, then I kind of, I was resisting. It's, a, it's an unusual experience because you don't want to uh, let go. For people maybe that are like me, where you're kind of in control of your emotions a lot, <laughs> it's, it's strange to let go. I, I don't know how other people can do it so well. For me, it's a struggle. I, I kind of want to stay in control of my, my faculties, if, if you can imagine that a little bit. And um, it's kind of like you're in the back over here to the right. And he's, he's doing the, uh, he's taking charge. He's talking and at least um, it's this time it, it was, um, gosh, I just feel like I'm, like it was, my whole body was like vibrating the whole time. It's kind of um, draining. I feel like I've been, um, I don't know, like in a wrestling match or something for, for a long time and my arms and legs are really worn out. They're like really tired. This one is like, it felt stiff as a rock. It, it hurt really bad. And then um, the pins and needles and stuff. <laughs> um, that's what it was like. Mm. Did you see anything? Um, so much. Um, Is there a lot more than you were saying? Um, I don't remember a lot of what I was saying. Mm. I, I, Do you remember anything? I remember, for me, it's always visual. So I'm, I'm seeing things a lot more than I'm, than I'm hearing them. I can hear them, but it's up here. It's kind of a way. I'm aware of, of exactly what's taking place. Um, this time was different than the other session that we had. Um, this time I was, I remember there was a, which was really cool. This is the best part of the session for me was, um, he was talking about the people here. <laughs> and I, I could see him looking around and, and looking into people. That was totally cool. That was, that was neat. Mm -hmm. And I could see what people were afraid of and um, get a little sense of what their life was like a little bit, um, mm -hmm. where they live and how messed up it is or how good it is. <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, what, what made some of you the way you are now, you know, past experience, how you became to be shy or, or uh, not trusting or, you know, how you are now. That was, that was amazing. Do you still retain that from each person? Um, or is it collective? 
No, no, I, I remember each of the people that he, you know, mm -hmm. he's just kind of like going around, Scan. who should I look at? Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, look at this person. He goes, he's so, he's very impatient. He, he, uh, this other version of me, he doesn't have a lot of time. He just goes, okay, it's the same old. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like an, another crazy human being. Yeah, got it. <laughs> and I go, but for me, I'm like, wow, that's like, look at that person. That's so interesting how they lived. And you see it like... Instantly. Oh, instantaneously, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Um, um, the, we, <laughs> there was a point where he... Sh that was really cool. I got to see the, the, this, this other Earth yeah. that's there. That's, I got to see quite a few other different versions of Earth that are existing side by side right now. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Um, the, the latest... This new earth. There are people there right now. Mm. There are people there. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Hey. No, it's not like it's not there. It's there. I got to see what it was like in in the future. You know, it's already been around for a while, and how people um, live and react, and and it's so different than here. The thing that was amazing was um, being shown this place. How the concept of fear is and even it's all the way down to a cellular level even everything is is fearful here the whole makeup of this place is all built on fear it's it's infected everything animals every you know we've kind of like pushed fear on animals animals used to eat fruits and vegetables you know like mm. and we're meant to eat the fruits of the tree, you know? We're not supposed to kill the, the fucking tree. We're supposed just to eat the fruit. And, and we're not supposed to kill the plants even, you know? We're, it's, there's a system in place. It's, it's a really beautiful system, you know? You eat the fruit, there's seeds in it. It comes out in your, your waist and it grows more fruit. And it's, the animals weren't eating each other either. We've kind of like, we've trained everything to be fearful. You know, to be intimidated. It was a really weird concept. And then I saw another Earth where the whole system wasn't based on fear. It was based on love and cooperation. It was amazing. It was effing amazing. That was like, I can't explain to you what the sensation was. It, it was people weren't even eating things. They had learned to evolve to a, a stage where they're just looking at the sun for their, their food. It was amazing. There was, nothing was hidden. It's like, you couldn't pretend to be anything with the person next to you. So like, like Albert would be able to see me right now if we were friends there, right? It's like, you, you can't lie. It's like all out in the open, which was, it, it was a completely different dynamic how people existed in this place. And then I saw it just the way it is kind of now and the closest um, version, you know, what we're supposed to be seeking. Yeah, there are, there are people there. It's just um, most of us are idiots. We're, we, we, we don't know our full potential and um, we're kind of struggling to, to get there. Yeah, and, and I saw a lot of, um, oh man, the way we live now, yeah. Most of, most of his thing is frustration. Um, I get a sense of most of the beings, um, entities on the other side, they're, they're really interested in us. They, I, 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 oh, I, oh, the other really amazing thing was this, I don't know how to describe this. Um, the, the, the whole symbiotic nature of of the universe that's what was amazing to me um it just blew my mind there 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 there's another race of of people that oh god they're they live like we used to years millennia ago um they think that the way to connect to spirit with your higher self to 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 be godlike is to is to eat other people so you know you you find a somebody that's really strong 
somebody that has a lot of ability, if you eat that person, <laughs> you're like him, right? So if you eat an animal that can fly, well, you, they think this is how they think. And I was shown that this is how we used to think. We were exactly the same way. And so um, this, they're, they're going to evolve at their own rate. It's completely different, though. Really wild kind of, kind of, kind of a place. But they're dependent on us evolving. And this critical point that's, that's coming up in time, um, they need us to nudge them. Somebody is nudging us that we, you know, we can kind of perceive sometimes, they're nudging us, they're on our side, trying to help us evolve, because they need us also to intermingle with, with them, because they're kind of an older species. It was just fucking amazing. <laughs> that was cool. Um, and he would be talking about something, guy, you're moving on really fast. That was a thing. I was like sitting on something, wanted to um, look at it, and then it would like be ripped away really fast. <laughs> hmm. And then you would go on to something else. And I was like, no, I want to see that. That was, I want to see that. Mm -hmm. I was all about that. I wish I could get back there and look at it again. It, it, it's, it's just like here. Um, the, I got this sense, this all-knowing sense, the laws of the universe apply here also, how there's a huge, intricate, all-connected web of how everything is intermingled and dependent on one another. And just a little tiny change you make screws everything up, you know? And so, and I was seeing here on Earth how the crazy changes we've made has totally messed up everything, the whole dynamic in this particular timeline where we are right now is just a mess, but it's still, they look at it as, they, they always kind of label it as an experiment. There's no bad experiment, and it's an amazing kind of a reaction, you know, like a test tube kind of a thing. It's just so bizarre. Um, what we're doing now is, is really cool, and, and um, uh, You know, this, this, this moment in time that he kept saying, you know, this shift that we're all talking about, the New Earth thing, um, that was kind of, you know, I've, I don't like seeing that because um, it kind of beats up on me a little bit. I keep seeing myself, what I do, in another version of myself. Or it's it's totally humiliating. It's it, I am so ashamed to be a human being. I have only seen it one other time, and I saw it again this time. And I, I'm petrified. You know, like consumed with fear. I like I'm trying to avoid this thing, and all all these thoughts that come into my head. It, um, um, the average person just goes nuts. Everybody's running around like, uh, you know, they're terrified. It's like a scene out of a Godzilla movie. You just see, like, people panicking. It's, it's a really frightening thing, and everybody reacts differently. And up on the way to that moment, um, it's just, God, just things get worse and worse. And government, and war, and and the weather, the, the planet really reacts. And I mean, it's like, I know everybody wants to know, is it going to be, I mean, me too, I would like to know. Um, it just seems like it's now, though. It, it, it seems like it's like any day this is going to happen. I, it, and the sense, I remember you asking, oh, I thought that was my camera. <laughs> I had a, I, you asked a question um, about when it was going to happen, right? Right. When? Oh, it seemed like it was it's happening too, now. It's too much to uh, to uh, go through. and mm -hmm. it, it, It's like you have to wade through images to find it again. Um, 
it, I, I'm trying to remember his answer. Um, it was uh, that we were creating it. Mm. I'm just trying to pick up the scenes just to kind of get a sense for when it when it happened. Um, it just felt like it was now. Uh, that was a, that was a concept that I had never really thought about before. That we're the ones that are dictating when the time is. That um, it just seemed really interesting when when he said that that our actions here on the planet are speeding, making it speed up even faster, and it's it's upon us right now. He, I could tell he was a little um, annoyed. Or me, I was kind of pissed off uh, that, hey, don't you get it? It's, uh, you know, why are you laying around now? I, it's like, it's like there's, you should be preparing that uh, time is short, that um, it's here. What do you mean? When is it going to happen? It's happening right now. You, you silly little tiny people, uh, do something. <laughs> You know, don't don't throw a party. You just don't go out to dinner. I mean, you should be really focusing on how this moment. He was really stressing this moment um, that that um, when this happens, it's it's not a difficult thing to face. It's it kind of reminded me when we were sitting with uh, Christine Breeze, and she was talking about when you take the ayahuasca and it finds you like you'll see yourself, I think that's a good analogy. Um, your worst fear is going to pop up in front of you. you. I think that happens anyway when you die, that um, your expectations, the things that you never got to complete, you know, like it could have been sex, you wanted to have, or could, whatever it may be, it kind of like is there waiting for you mm. when you die. Sure, there's happy people too, you know, like if you believe in Jesus, he'll come meet you. But um, he was really big on, on um, connecting to source, like right now, like mm -hmm. do it right now. Um, everybody needs to find themselves right now, because when this, it was scary, because he was showing me. At the same time he was talking, um, I was petrified when this thing happened. I mean, petrified, petrified. I mean, I was like pee your pants kind of petrified. And the things that I was manifesting in my head, I was trying to figure out a way to escape it, hide, you know? Where can I go? It's like if a volcano went off, your first instinct is to survive, right? And he was saying, no, stand fast and face it and it'll go through you, you'll be fine. Do not let your fears generate all these other thoughts of, you'll, you'll, it'll build a, a little universe around you and you'll be stuck in it. That's what he was saying, because when the veil drops, you're actually not, you're not here anymore, you're not in the physical anymore. You're gonna be in this space, this in-between space until the shift is over with. And so he was saying, you know, you have to learn how to operate and communicate and manifest in this little area, this small amount of time, this space while it's happening. And if you can find your way back to source and, and evolve to the new earth, that's great. Some people can do that. They're, they're like, you know, what are they called? Uh, spiritual masters, uh, yogi supremes. What are they called? The, the best yogi people? What are they called? She's not here? Mm, I don't know. Oh. Um, so but if, if you don't make it there, it when this ends, you're just here. You stay here. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's, it's not a happy place. After it's over with, things are a lot different. But, um, yeah. So how long do you think that you are on this journey? How do you oh, feel? God. That one was different. What did it feel like? Oh, that felt like forever. That felt like um, two days or something. <laughs> yeah, that, that was not like the session in Miami. Yeah, it was over two hours. Wow. 
ความ